y'all, it's Kat with Girl Gone Grillin' and today we're gonna be making some chicken parmesan sandwiches on my charbroil gas griddle. We are about to get all of the ingredients prepped and ready and then head outside and get to cooking. This is gonna be a good one, so stick around. Let's get into it. I've got all of my ingredients laid out, so I thought I'd quickly show you what we're gonna need for this recipe. We have some thin sliced chicken breast, some marinara sauce, Italian breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, some hoagie rolls or Italian bread, whatever you can find at your local grocery store, some eggs for dredging, some minced garlic and some butter. We need some flour for dredging and some oil for the griddle. Now that I have all of my ingredients laid out, we're gonna head outside and let's get cooking. Here on my charbroil prep cart, I've got everything set up for dredging our chicken. I've got my thin sliced chicken breast, I got my flour, my egg, and my breadcrumbs mixed with a little grated Parmesan. So let's get this chicken ready and then we'll throw it on the griddle. All right, we're gonna start out with our thin sliced chicken breast. We're gonna throw it into some flour, then into some egg. And then lastly, we're gonna coat it real good with our breadcrumb and Parmesan cheese mixture. Once it's coated, we're just gonna lay it on this tray over here and it's ready to cook. Ooh, look at those perfectly breaded chicken breasts, ready for the griddle. On the far side of my griddle, I have it heated to a low medium heat and I'm just gonna pour in a jar of marinara sauce to start slowly warming. Let's start by laying down some oil. We want to do a lot of oil because we want to shallow fry these chicken breasts. And now we're just going to lay down our chicken breasts to start getting crispy on both sides. Throw down a little bit more oil so they really are getting nice and crispy. That's what we wanna see right there. We wanna get it sizzling so it cooks real nice and crispy. It's probably gonna take six to seven minutes on each side to get these chicken breasts crispy and cooked all the way through. Time to give them a flip. Ooh, that is looking perfect. to stick a meat thermometer in my chicken to make sure we've reached an internal temperature of 165, which shouldn't be too much of an issue with this thin chicken. The chicken is cooked and crispy, so we're just gonna set it aside for a couple of minutes while we get the bread toasted up. I melted down a stick of butter and added some minced garlic and then I ended up adding some parsley in here as well for some color. And we are gonna baste our sandwich rolls with this and then throw it on the griddle for it to toast. Just brush the inside of that bread with that garlic butter. Ooh, yum. Now we're gonna lay our buttered bread down to toast. They're getting golden, so let's flip them over. Oh, they're perfect and beautiful. The marinara has started simmering and it is ready to go on top of our chicken. Ooh, it's time to assemble up these sandwiches. I made the executive decision that we're turning these into big sandwiches because these chicken breasts are so big. Laying down our crispy, thin chicken breasts. And now we're gonna ladle on some of that marinara sauce over the top. Ooh, yum. And now we're gonna load these up with some mozzarella cheese. I've never heard someone say too much cheese, so we're going heavy handed. Ooh yeah. 
I'm gonna sprinkle a little of this freeze-dried basil over the top for some color too. Put our bread on top. And then I'm actually gonna move these closer together. And we're gonna put them under this lid so they can melt. All right, it's been about three minutes. Let's pull this off. Ooh, that cheese is looking melty and these are ready to come off the griddle. Ooh, yum. Oh my golly, y'all. These chicken parmesan sandwiches on my charbroil griddle look and smell absolutely delicious. Now we had to come inside to try them. It is 90 degrees in Texas today and I was burning up. So let's cut into one of these and give it a try. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I mean, come on, look at how good that looks. That crispy chicken, that cheese, that marinara. This is gonna be so good. Just look at that cross section. I can't wait any longer. We've got to give it a try. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. That garlic bread, that cheese, the crispy chicken, this is a winner. I've gotta say, you have got to give that one a try. Man, oh man, is it tasty. And it cooked up perfectly on my charbro griddle, which I will have information about the griddle I cooked on down below in the description, so you should check that out. But I hope that y'all enjoyed today's recipe video. Stay tuned because I'm sure there will be more coming in the future as I share lots of tasty and delicious griddle recipes. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see y'all again real soon with another one. Bye, guys!